Hey guys, Trif Crunchy Lever today with, and we're back with Evangelion episode 14. I will be trying and be off in about a bit off at the end of this, even at the end of this month for a week off work. So I'll be able to, I might try and do some more, I might do double drop. Say thank you for you guys watching every week and commenting like usual. But yeah, I should have a bit more time to do a few more episodes so we can get through the series a bit faster. So I'll try and aim to do three episodes at the end of this, at the end of this month. Um, but last episode we got a bit more context on the Maggie, which was pretty interesting. It's like a supercomputer basically, and um, and it's apparently somebody said it's going to be integral to the plot. Like it's not going to be in it massively, but it is important. So it makes the episode last the previous episode more bearable because I know it's going to be in it more. Um, and it's and there's a reason they introduced it, and they had a pretty much cool introduction, like the whole virus sort of aspect of the episode, and the intensity of it. I will say it was my weakest, but I still enjoyed it. Yeah, we're over halfway now through the show, so yeah, I'm interested to see where the story's going to take us. I went with like sort of low expectations. I didn't think I was going to love it or hate it because it's one of those shows where like I've heard about it where people say they love it, people say they hate it, and it was always like this mixed feelings about it. So I didn't want to go with like this high expectation of like oh, it's meant to be one of the best anime ever. And I'm glad I didn't do that. I'm glad I went in with like semi-low expectations and it's met met and surpassed them to be fair like i really like all the characters i think the characters are well done and well built i like how some shots on this show are done like some shots on the show look amazing and then you notice like the drag on shots or shots will be dragged on but there's always a reason behind it like one of the mashups for example they were focused on the phone ringing for ages like it was like a really long shot of just the phone ringing and it was just like it was soon your dad who called him and it's like it's nice, like a nice effect, especially to like moments. And it's quite powerful the way the shots, some of the shots are done in the show. I think like there could be some interesting ones later. But yeah, sometimes they would always like pan or stay on something for a bit too long. But then there's always a reason for them doing that because at the end of the day, when you animate, you animate a scene for a reason. So yeah, I like how they're doing that. I love how the evas are done. Like the way angels are way more interesting than I thought they would be, and I want to learn a lot more about the lore of the show, which is pretty cool. And yeah, overall, been a solid show so far, so I'm enjoying to see if the what how it depends on the plot thickens a bit. So yeah, let's get straight into this. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to check out my other videos. And let's do this. And now the angel of the first episode. Looks like the angel off the first episode anyway. Is this a recap episode? Or is it just showing the first bit of the episode? Oh yeah, when he got absolutely wrecked. Hey, I haven't seen the e Yvonne go berserk since the first episode really have we I'm just gonna skip the first half apparently it's recap guys so I'm just gonna skip ahead <laughs> let's be a short video guys <laughs> I think the first like, 10 minutes was recap but I, I don't need to rewatch all that I guess this is Ray who's talking Mate, did the show just take a load of drugs? <laughs> What's going on? I love how she named everyone by name by Asuka. You just called a pilot too. <laughs> Oh, is that the actual angel that I can draw? Oh, she tra oh, they test trained other pilots. Oh! Wait, so, let me just pause that. So, was that scene all about because she was in Unit 1? When she's saying, like, she doesn't feel herself, she seems like so she's someone else. Is that because she's piloting Evil 1? So, in a way, she's technically syncing up like she's Sinji, and that's... It was like that was flowing through her. I don't know if that's what they was trying to get at. No, because by, by, the, by the looks of what was being said, it felt like it, she was in Sinji's shadow when she's piloting Evil One. So what, they're testing if they could pilot over the Evil One? That's pretty interesting. Oh, so they can. It's exactly the same. Oh, 
I wonder why she can buy it. Did she say, like, why are they similar? They're not related, are they? They're not brother and sister. Because otherwise, it would have said that, that the patterns are very similar. I wouldn't be surprised, to be fair. They explain why their dad's so close to her. Or kids. There's a reason why. Yeah, they must be related then. Because if she, if they can both use each other's evas, they must be, and they're saying the patterns are connected, there must be some sort of relationship there, that relation. If, because if Asuka can't, they can only drive her unit. I'm assuming that's the case, because they want to put such big emphasis on the pattern thing, and like... Hmm. I was always interested if they could drive each other's evons. But I didn't just skip the episode. As soon as I saw the recap, I was like, do I just skip this? But I thought I'd read the episode synopsis and it says second half, something else happens. So. <laughs> Obasco doesn't slowly get envious over the show. Like, I get really jealous. I don't see it doing that, but that'd be a bit sad. Or oh, should we get members? That was a creepy look in the eye, weren't it? I'm not thinking that glass is fucking savagely hot. I wonder why the evens go crazy like that. I love how she knows so much more than me, so. Hmm, wonder why she wants to hit her. What did she do? Has she done something to Ray? Oh, there's so many questions. Now, why does it want to attack her? Did she must have done something to Ray then? Because are they even protective of the host? I'm not too sure about that. Off Star. They, they all go reminds me of Admiral Moth off Star Wars. I don't know why. Why is he so concerned about it, but not Sinji? I need to know. Well, that's going to be a short reaction, guys. As you know, um, first half was recap. Uh, it was interesting seeing the first bit again, but I didn't need to see it all over again. Um, there might have been some cool dialogue that I might have missed in the top corner of them explaining the situations as they was doing in the first two battles. But I don't really want to watch recap. It's something I don't enjoy watching unless it's done really well. Um, if I did miss anything of importance in the recap, you can just mention it in the comments and I will read, of course. Um, yeah, I like the whole idea of switching the evens, see if they could drive other evens. Uh, we've got a lot more questions as this episode. Like Now I'm more focused on, like, are they related? Um, is that why Dad cares about Reet and Ray so much. The fact that they can have the same pattern, Asuka couldn't do it, but those two could. Just leave. And it explained like why he cares so much. I want to know more about the first child now. It looks like they've introduced the plot and they know what they're going to do with her now. Because as I think it was Hans mentioned, they weren't 100% sure what they were going to do with Ray at the point before. That's why she's barely in it. But I'm interested to see what they'll do there. Ooh, judging by the preview, we're getting a the Misa episode. I'm excited. I like Misa episodes because I really like a character. So next episode is Lines and Silence. That looks interesting. But yeah, no, um, yeah, a bit more questions this episode. Uh, overall, a bit of a, just mainly recap. I wish it does. A bit, I hate when the recap episodes sort of have that like, actual interesting plot lines in it as well, because you can't just skip them, because that, the second half of this episode was important. Obviously, if I just saw the recap and just skipped and I didn't search, I would have just skipped quite important scenes. Um, but yeah, enjoyed, I enjoyed the last bit of the episode. I thought it was pretty enjoyable and interesting concepts were thrown around there. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry for the short reaction, guys. I'll see you next week. Peace.